The question is, what happens when you put a nail in copper two chloride? That's a blue solution with copper plus two ions inside of it. Well, the answer is it really, I mean, it should technically depend if your nails are made of iron or zinc, but the actual answer is it doesn't matter. The reason is of the activity series. Metallic potassium, at least according to this list, is among the most reactive metals. Putting metallic potassium in almost anything will cause a reaction. Putting metallic gold inside something will almost never lead to a reaction. It's the least reactive metal. And by the way, that's one of the reasons we make jewelry out of gold. I could drop this into hydrochloric acid and nothing would happen. It's the least reactive. Here's what I want to point out. Iron is more reactive as a metal than copper. And zinc is also more reactive than copper. So if you were to drop an iron nail inside of copper two chloride solution, the iron would displace the copper. This is a single displacement reaction. You would end up with FeCl2, see how it took its place. That is an aqueous compound. And the copper would get displaced and become its pure metallic form. Copper solid is towards the unreactive side of this list. And therefore the solid copper is the least reactive form and won't react with the iron chloride to reproduce this. It's the iron that displaces copper, not the other way around. If you happen to have a galvanized nail, what that means is it's probably steel underneath, but they've coated it with zinc to prevent it from oxidizing. But that's no match for copper two chloride solution because zinc is more reactive than copper. So metallic zinc will also take the place of copper here. You'll get zinc two chloride solution and still yet produce copper solid. There you go. So the answer is when you put a nail in copper two chloride, if it's made of iron or zinc, you're going to get a chemical reaction. The outside of the nail is going to become a little more copperic, copper colored. I don't know. It's actually going to be flakes of copper in my experience. Like you can just shave them off and then you have some solid copper in your hands. It's not like you're going to make a nail out of copper. The point is, that the nail starts to dissolve and become flaky copper, which obviously is not gonna help you fasten anything. The nail, as you knew it, was done. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.